Dave from Coeptis Therapeutics, how are you today? Great today, Tracy. How are you? So it's my understanding that you have three, basically, um, three platform technologies in the fight against cancer. Why don't we start by introducing the investor news audience to those? Sure. Thanks, Tracy. Yes, we do. Um, it's 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 uh, it's actually quite uh, expansive for a company of our size to to have what we have in the amount of uh, technology. And we do have three platforms. Uh, one is the the gear platform that we acquired from the Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden, famously known, of course, for that's where you name the Nobel Prize in medicine every year. Um, that works to um, help uh, reduce the toxicity issues inherent when you introduce a monoclonal antibody therapy. Um, the second technology that we acquired is a technology called SnapCar, which we acquired from the University of Pittsburgh. Uh, fascinating, very wide technology that allows us to create um, a universal cell that could be used to attack not only most any cancer, but on any point of attack on the cancer, which very much differentiates it from what's currently in the market. And then lastly, uh, we acquired from Devera Therapeutics, um, not only uh, two phase one clinical trials utilizing MK cells, uh, but also a cell generation platform, which we're extremely excited about it because it's allowing us to um, inject patients or uh, allow patients to utilize cells that are truly off the shelf, which as you know, has been one of the main areas of uh, goals of biotech in cell therapy over the last five to six years, but it's also been the biggest area of extreme failure and we are not seeing that. So we're very excited about that. A lot of investors out there will be going, COPE, how do I get COPE? And tell us a little bit more about it. So if you can just quickly give us how many shares are outstanding. Sure. And what I would personally love, I always enjoy, is what is the most competitive reason that we need to have some COPE or be looking at this particular company in our portfolio today. Right. Yes. Uh, so uh, we trade on the NASDAQ under the symbol COEP. Uh, we have about 35 million shares outstanding, all common. Um, it, it's a very clean uh, cap structure in that there's no uh, you know, uh, negative convertible debts or anything like that that could cause any severe downsizing without any um, price protection to investors. Um, what makes us great? I mean, we have some of the top scientists, literally some of the top scientists in the world uh, working with our company on some of the technologies that are all really paradigm shifting technologies. And one thing that, you know, I'd love to point out to investors again is in the area of cell therapy, and you've seen this dramatically throughout the market, you've seen what I would just term as underwhelming results scientifically. And Coeptis is not seeing that. Our technologies are driving forward very well. Um, all of our studies are very positive. So we're very excited for the future of everything we're bringing to the table in regards to cancer therapy. So I was reading about Coeptis. You're relatively new. You just went public. Can you give us a little bit of your background since October of last year? Sure. Uh, October of last year, we entered into a SPAC transaction. Uh, you know, prior to the transaction, we were independently valued for the transaction at around $182 million. Um, and the interesting part about that, Tracy, is that actually was prior to uh, our acquisition of Snapcar from University of Pittsburgh and our acquisition of um, our clinical grade assets and our cell generation platform from Devera. So, you know, it's interesting uh, how strong the valuation was prior to the SPAC transaction, but you know, that's the market. Um, you know, we can't really uh, comment on the whys and hows, but, you know, we do feel we are heavily undervalued if you look at us that way. Well, uh, so you're you're a relatively new entry. And already, it's my understanding that you have had some coverage. Uh, can, yeah. you tell us, uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Sure. Uh, uh, right now, two investment firms cover us, uh, Jones Trading and Ladenberg Thalman. Uh, both have buy recommendations on us right now. And of course, for all of you out there who may want to copy this research report, here are the names right below me. Please reach out to them. Now, where are we right now for commercialization plans? I mean, you've already moved incredibly rapidly. You mm -hmm. kept the vehicle 
super tight. Can you tell us what you're planning here to achieve those goals next? Well, it's quite wide. Uh, right now, you know, cell therapy obviously is still in its relative infancy across uh, across industry. Uh, we do have two phase one clinical trials. One is wrapped up. So we're waiting for data that we anticipate in the first quarter. Um, our second one has two more people to enroll. Uh, and then we'll close that up and have data in the first quarter as well. And I would suggest we would look to push both of those forward. Um, and that's with our unmodified, no HLA matching uh, NK cell infusions. Um, with SNAPCAR, we are currently moving that forward uh, towards the clinic. We are seeking partners and, you know, we are in partnership talks already with many different companies. And uh, also with gear, we're moving that towards the clinic as well. So all of these are driving forward. And, and the thing I would tell you about it, Tracy, for investors to realize is all, our um, technologies, due to their, their uh, platform-based scenarios, really do uh, allow themselves to have a lot of different partnership opportunities with many different uh, large pharmaceutical company. So we're very excited about the opportunities there. Dave, can you tell us a little bit more about kind of your your company vision and what you anticipate? What are your goals are for Coeptis, please? That's a great question, Tracy. Um, really, the company vision and philosophy, when you get down to it, is what we, we would term the universalization of cell therapy. And what do we mean by that? Well, cell therapy in its current state is a extremely expensive therapies for patients. And for one, does not allow access to many patients and mostly doesn't allow the access until they've had to, um, you know, go through many other cheaper therapies that insurance companies will pay for. With uh, Coeptis' uh, cell generation platform and the, and the ability to create what we consider to be true off-the-shelf therapies, we will be able to dramatically lower that price and allow access to many, many more people, thus universalizing cell therapy. Well, speaking of that, I'd like to talk, if you could just talk for a minute, because you have an extraordinary, everybody says we got a great management team, but it, it's it's almost a challenge to keep up with the work that's going on with Coaptis. So you obviously have numerous sophisticated members of your team yes. orchestrating all of these relations. Would you like to talk, talk about this a little bit? We do. I mean, our, our, our management team is, is, is phenomenal. Um, Myself on the business side, I have a very, uh, you know, a lot of experience on the business side of how to properly uh, fund and finance a company. Um, I have a great team with our senior management that worked um, from really cradle to grave, from invention all the way to commercialization in pharmaceuticals. Our, our chief science medical officer, Dr. Colleen Delaney, is, is one of the premier scientists in the area of utilizing human cord blood for creating cells. And our scientific advisory boards are some of the leading scientists at Karolinska, which truly is one of the most respected institutes in the world. So we do have, if you were to attend a conference, Tracy, in these areas, our scientists and our, our chief science and medical officer would be some of the chief speakers there and everybody would be listening. So we're, we're, we're so uh, excited and blessed to have them on our team. First quarter, 2024, what should we as shareholders anticipate? Well, I think uh, certainly we should anticipate um, data releases from both of our trials. We should anticipate uh, where we're moving those. We should look towards uh, some of the announced targets of what we're looking for with uh, gear and Snapcar. And I do think um, there could be possibilities of um, some type of partnering deals coming along the way too, which would be extremely exciting for us. Of course, for everybody out there going co okay? New in the last year, it's a new NASDAQ listed company, which basically provides a win-win, right? You're, you're, you're going after cancer. Do I have that correct? Absolutely. And for everybody out there interested in finding out more, please go to the following website. Thank you so much, Dave, for joining us today. Thank you, Tracy.